Hey hi hello namaste welcome to CR and it's Anas this is Chetan and in this tutorial I will show you my sci-fi character creation workflow so now let's get started I start my process with the Google search for the reference images to just search a sci-fi female character then female muscle structure so you can understand the muscle structure then female face structure then the next thing is the costume design so that's why you can search for the female avenger character so you will get a lot of references for the costume then you need to align these images in uh, photoshop or purif you can see these are the reference images for the costume design and i got a lot of ideas from these reference images then these are the reference images for the female muscle structure and anatomy so i can sculpt the muscles and all forms of the body in a very well manner then these are the reference images for the different body parts of the female you can see the face details and all other parts so i can easily sculpt these different parts and then i can create my character with the right form and the proportions so you need to do the google search for the reference images and then you need to align these reference images like this then i created the 3d sketch of the helmet into the zbrush with a simple sub tool and with the help of the base mesh female head which is there in the zbrush so according to that i created the helmet so i will get the right proportions and the dimensions for the helmet so just i duplicate this base mesh head and I created that helmet over this base mesh female head so it will be more easier for me to create this kind of helmet you can see this is not the sharp finish sculpt it is just a 3d sketch because we want to create a hard surface model so we will get those harder edges with the right topology so we need to do the right topology for this so that's why i didn't work too much on this just i block out this base mesh sketch and you can see the topology is weird and I have used the Sculpt Risk Pro which is there in the ZBrush so I can create the more details on the model without increasing the topology much more so my system can handle easily so that's why I have used the Sculpt Risk Pro and I have created this helmet then I brought that model to the Maya for the retopology with the XBX export and you can see the dense mesh of that helmet and if I turn on the Quadra then you can see the retopology. I have created the simple retopology in the Maya. I didn't carve those hard surface details which were there in the, the that sculpt. Just I have created the basic retopology in the Maya. And I want to learn the Quadra, which is the retopology tool in the Maya. So that's why I use the Maya here. Then I brought that model for the retopology, clean retopology in a blender and to carve those details because i'm more familiar with the blender so that's why i choose the blender and you can see i have created those harder edges and those details on the helmet and you can see the topology i have used the mirror modifier here because i can save my efforts and just i need to create the details to the one side and you can see the loop edge loop structure and the topology so you can see the face loop structure i have tried to create the face loop around the particular booleans so i will get a good decent look on the model then i uv unwrap that helmet by adding seams in blender you can see the seams all over that helmet and i try to create the seams around the particular booleans and those details so i can easily uv unwrap that helmet and then I align those UVs in the proper way so it will be the good for the texturing. And I have keep that mirror modifier so it will be easier for me to apply the texture to the one side and I will get the same texture to the another side. In the same way I have created the figure of the character into the ZBrush and you can see it is the very high poly. With the help of reference images of the anatomy and muscle structure I have created this. Then I brought that high poly model to the blender and I have created the retopology for that character body structure its figure and you can see the retopology and you can see the loop structure i have tried to create the right loop structure here so it will be easy for the other processes with the help of retopologize mesh i have created the costume for the character into the zbrush and you can see it is extremely high poly version and i have carved those details for the costume then i have brought that high poly version to the blender and then here i have created the retopology for that costume you can see the high poly version and the topo right topological version to its side and if you i go to the edit mode then you can see it is a high poly and i have created here the right topological version with the different parts for the character costume and here i have used the mirror modifier so it will be easy for me to create this costume 
with the same method i have created the different costume parts like these gloves with the different sub tools you can see so i have created these gloves with the help of that base mesh so it will guide me and it will give me the size for the gloves and you can see it is a high poly so that's why i brought it to the blender and here i have created the retopology for the gloves you can see this retopology then i have created the shoes for the character i have used this extracted piece of the high poly character fit and here i didn't use the z brush to create the shoes here i have used the poly modeling methods to create the shoes you can see i have used the reference images and that extracted piece of the feet so i will get a guide and then here i have created the shoes with the different parts so it will be more easier for me to the retopology you can see the topology of shoes in the same way i have created the different costume parts for the character and then i have bring all those parts into the zbrush so i can assemble them together and i will get the help of a sculpting tools so i can adjust the proportions of the character and then i have created the clothes details on the costume like wrinkles and other things and then i have created the hairs with a fiber mesh you can see there are different sub tools and with a different sub tool i have created this after creating the clothes details i assembled the low poly version in a blender with the different parts for the uv unwrapping because that was the high poly version for the clothes details in the zbrush and then i have added the seams here in on this low poly version and then i have uv unwrapped this you can see the seams on the model and it's uv's to the another side i keep the mirror modifier as it is because it will be easy for me to create the details with the symmetry and you can see the different parts and here i didn't add that base body mesh like that figure for this character final character just i have used its neck and different parts which are from the outer side visible then i brought different parts to the substance painter for the texturing so i can easily apply the texture to them and i won't get confused i have created the smart materials for the te texture of the costume and you can see the different parts here then i assign that texture to the character into the blender you can see in the preview mode and i have created the node setup here just simple the node setup just i have brought that texture to the blender and just i have connected this different textures to the principal psdf and the simple light setup this is the circular light setup and if i go to the render view then you can see just i have turned on the transparency at there so i can take the transparent turn table animation so now i will show you my different light setup for the different renders you can see the setup 1 setup 4 setup 3 these different setups for the different renders and i like to keep the uh, uh, different camera as it is so i create a different cameras for the different render so you can see the different camera angles here so this is my sci-fi character creation workflow thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care